Honorable former Chief Justice Mr. Ritu Raj Avasti Ji, Chairman, Law Commission of India, Honorable Brothers on the Dais, Honorable Vice Chancellor, the learned faculty members, and my dear students. My brother Bharadwaj already cautioned me indirectly that unless I'm captivating enough, the, all of you are here so saturated, nobody is going to hear. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nonplussed on that. But let's see uh, the AI which you today use freely without paying anything. It has its genesis to most of you are born in the cell phone generation. All of you are less than 25 years. Cell phones came some 25 years ago. I do not know how many of you know, but I know when I took my first cell phone, I used to dread receiving a phone call because I was a struggling lawyer. And, and incoming call would cost me 16 rupees per minute, and outgoing was 32. So I used to think, because uh, caller ID was not very, that those days, like it's completely now you have true caller, etc. By default, you will know who is calling. So I used to wonder even if I just press and it's a wrong number or something, I'll have to pay 16 rupees. So such was the cost those days, which would almost kind of you know, prohibitively price that you'll be thinking what to do. Now look at it versus that today. You don't pay anything for calls. It's free. Why? Because there are voice over internet protocols, which involves in partly AI, etc., are also being used in softwares. The reason now is totally opposite because they have made tons of money from the data which you have provided them through WhatsApp, through Signal, through Facebook. And that data is also being used put to commercial use. Now, same is going to be the threat with AI in future. Today, AI is free. They are going to mentally incapacitate you so much to use it that <coughs> then they'll make it man that you, the free service will go and you'll have to pay. Already the one they launched at, uh, I think the version 3 and 3.5 is free, 4 is already being charged. Something like 2,000 rupees per connection or something. So the fear factor is, now likewise, before the cell phone uh, came, I remember as a child, I could rattle out phone numbers from my memory. I had some phone, phone book of my own here. I easily 300, 400, 500 numbers. Today I don't know any number. I say, hey, Siri, call so and so. Now, what is that? That's the game. So, these are the pitfalls of slowly becoming artificial intelligence. Ultimately, what is it? It's a task outsourced through a machine, what a man is supposed to do. So, it's an intelligence being used by a machine and doing the task of a man. That is why we call it artificial intelligence. It's artificial because it's not done by man. But regardless, it's the same intelligence which, which has been input by battery of millions of people who were working on it. In the morning, I was told that India has some 400,000, 4 lakh people working in just, just on AI, just India alone. And I do not know if you see the global number, how many, maybe a million or so. So, so such is the colossal kind of uh, uh, usage we are going to be heading in future. In India, we are 1.3 billion or so, or maybe more now, we are the largest in terms of population. We beat in China there at least. And one thing we beat in is population, China. That's still, still struggling. Now coming to the number of users, I was just looking at, again, my source is not verified because I coming on the way, I, I said I put it on uh, GPT, and I asked number of cell phone users in India, it says 1 billion. So if one billion phone users are going to be using artificial intelligence. So that is the kind of future artificial intelligence has. But, but the caution word is, as my brother just said, there is no accountability on the information or the intelligence being provided. There is no identifiable source. So unless you have verified the source, never count on it. Like the old medium in Punjabi or Hindi. Akal ke liye bhi nakal chahiye. Oh, sorry, nakal ke liye bhi akal chahiye. Okay, I said the wrong word. Nakal to maal, but if you don't use your own akal, ultimately in verifying the source, you could be in serious trouble. You could be in really serious trouble. In fact, recently in America, the, these people had to apologize and the judge had to fire. They used the artificial intelligence to provide the source to the judge and he based his judgment on that. Ultimately, that judgment had to be recalled because the source turned, turned out to be unverified. 
So you are also heading in future where artificial intelligence is going to be indispensable. So therefore, just use it cautiously. With that note, thank you very much and have a good evening.